Havens. I'm Shelby Ostrom. And I'm Will Chisholm. Help Us Learn, Give Us Hope is a statewide organization that collects school supplies to send to children in Africa, Iraq, and Afghanistan. We'll be collecting supplies through Friday. Items include pencils, pens, erasers, notebooks, backpacks, and mini pencil sharpeners. Please drop off the materials in Mr. Morgan's or Mrs. Ingalls' room. Sophomores, if you haven't enrolled yet, your deadline is tonight by midnight. Freshmen, make sure you enroll by Thursday, February 2nd by midnight. Email your counselor if you have any questions. Connor and Michael are back again with another edition of App of the Week. Let's take a look. App of the Week, coming back at you. New app, new week. Sorry we were gone, but you bet we're back. We're back and we're coming back strong. That's right, new app coming at you. Collecting coins, running away. You know what it is. Temple Run. Temple Run is a fun, fast-paced game. The objective in the game is to make it as far as you can on the course while collecting as many coins as possible along the way. Collecting coins gives you money so you are able to buy new power-ups for your character. While you are running, you will have to avoid obstacles that are thrown at you as well as outrunning the monkeys that are chasing you. To avoid obstacles, you simply flick up to jump, down to duck, slash slide, left and right to choose a path that you want to take, and tilt the screen to move your character back and forth. Along the way, you can get power-ups to help you receive higher scores. There are objectives you can complete to level up your character and your multiplier increases. Well, that's all for me, your guest host of App of the Week, Tanner Busick. We'll be back next week with another great app. For Michael Thurman, so long. The fashion show is still looking for students to model. Sophomores are now able to sign up. Pick up applications in room 1501 by Monday. Let's take it to Kenya for a preview. You better work! Thanks, Kenya. There will be a sophomore committee meeting on Tuesday next week in room 2111. First semester ceramic and interior design students, you have till the end of the day to pick up your work before they are recycled. The staff karaoke night was last Tuesday. Let's take it to Brenda Bloom to see how it went. Last Tuesday night, the choir department held O&W karaoke night, bringing together young and old to raise money for Miss Hedges and Miss Harris's families. Um, you know, back in December when we got the sad news about um, both of the house fires, um, I just started thinking, what could we do to maybe help out in some small way with, you know, the choir department? And um, we had been, I had been thinking about doing some sort of a talent show or karaoke night or something with the choir because we're raising money to buy a new um, piano, a new digital piano. So then I thought, well, that doesn't make sense. I should just try to put those efforts toward the folks who really need the help right now and, and table, you know, the, the piano thing can wait. So I just thought it would be a fun night and a good way to get kids out, maybe to see their teachers potentially make fools of themselves. I think kids are always up for that. So that was kind of the idea of it. But it was, it was a nice turnout. We filled most of the seats that we had set up. An idea that people coming together, having fun, laughing, and, you know, and if, and if we could raise some money, then that would be awesome. We raised $1,035, so thanks. This has been Brenda Bloom for ONW Now. Thanks, Brenda. Let's take it to Michael and Blake for Game Day Northwest. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. Welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Flip McFarlane alongside Michael Thurman. We have a great show, so let's get going. The Lady Ravens basketball team is currently 8-1, third in the state, and 150th nationally. Their next game is today against Rose Hill and the Newton Invitational. Let's take a look at this week's edition of The Beat by Tanner Busick and Bennett Hofer. Hi, I'm Ashley Lander. I play girls basketball in Lake Northwest. Ashley Lander! 
my role on the team is I'm kind of the leader. I get everyone going. I play point guard sometimes, and other times I'm on the wing. I say O and W, and they echo me. It gets us kind of pumped up for the game, kind of like we're one team, and we get us ready to play. We are doing really well this year. We're undefeated so far, um, and we have high ex expectations for the season. We have set a lot of goals there. We don't lose any games. We want to win like tournaments and some nice titles too. We know that people are going to play their best against us, but it, we just kind of got to play hard. <laughs> Coach Branstrom is awesome. He, he makes us work hard when we need to, but he also knows how to have a lot of fun. Look for another great edition of The Beat on the Raven Daily website. The Ravens men's basketball team is currently 7-1 after losing to Blue Valley Northwest. They are now ranked 3rd in the state and 80th nationally. Their next game is at Mill Valley. O&W very own Willie Cauley has received another award. Willie Cauley is now a semifinalist in the McDonald's All-American game. He is now named 2012 Basketball All-American High School All-Star Game, which will be played at halftime at the NCAA Final Four. It's great to see the Ravens getting some recognition. The Ravens swim and dive team is closing in on another successful season. Clark Thomas has broken the 11 dive record, and the Ravens look to place top five in the Sunflower League swim meet next Friday. Well, that's all we have for this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. For Blake McFarlane, I'm Michael Thurman. Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. Started off local, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. Thanks, guys. O&W is a sweet place to be this Valentine's Day. Wish someone a great Valentine's Day with a Valentine's bag for $5. Pick up the order forms in the office or at lunch. Our debate team had a great year this year. Let's take it to Caitlin Larson for a recap on the debate tournament. On Tuesday, January 17th, Mr. Anderson and the O&W Debate Department held this year's debate ceremony. The debate ceremony recognized all the students participating in debate this past fall and their accomplishments. Several debaters won a variety of awards, certificates, and medals. Recognitions included competition and tournament victories, state and national qualifiers, national forensics league certificates, advancements and improvements from members, individual degree advances, and many more. To finish off the ceremony, individual awards that the debate students voted on themselves were awarded to 12 novice and 12 advanced debaters in each category. Some of these awards included free spirit, most helpful, most intimidating in a round, and hardest working. The evening ended with the debaters going out for an evening banquet dinner. Congratulations to all those who participated in debate this past fall. We're proud to have you representing our school. For the Raven Daily, this has been Caitlin Larson. Going to the Sadie Hawkins dance? Get your flowers at Hy-Vee and help project graduation. Just mention us when you place your order. Next Wednesday is the first ever Digital Education Day. This is a day to recognize how much technology has become integrated with learning. In honor of the occasion, eCommunication students will be taking free photos of you to include in a school-wide photo mosaic. Have your picture taken Monday or Tuesday during lunch in the Commons. Will had an opportunity to interview Ben Novin and Bruce Doherty about RFC. Let's take a look. RFC is all about leadership, integrity, um, family. We love each other like a family. RFC is a uh, leadership class. We have a really good time. We put on all the assemblies. Sophomore year, the, the RFC members that were in there did a Michael Jackson skit, and it was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen, ever, with my eyes. So that pretty much got, I was like, how do I get in that? How do I do it? And I was like, I was determined from then on to do it. My role is to be a good leader and uh, for people to look up to me and uh, lead our school in spirit. My role in the student body is to be a leader among all my fellow Ravens. I mean, during the games, you'll see me clap it up. You'll see me in the front row going crazy. It's usually it's my role as RFC leader, Raven, all of the above. I would uh, recommend, if you're kind of skeptical about trying out, definitely go for it because there's a lot of people in there that you wouldn't think that they'd be good at it and it's awesome and they've all become great leaders. 
You have to be a rowdy raven, have to be crazy, you have to be spirited. You have to do a uh, trial, you have to do applications, you have to get teacher recs, and then you have to perform like a skit or a video in front of Miss Bohr, Miss Hilliard, and the Olathe district rep. If the F were to be changed, it'd be Raven Family Corp, not just Flight Corp. Well, that's all we have for you today. For the latest stories and updates, go to ownwravens.net slash ravendaily. Have a great weekend, Ravens.